Yeah, they're, they're wearing away. These History Channel explorers combing the Atlantic for World War II artifacts, instead stumbling upon remnants of one of the world's worst space disasters. Look at these rivets. Months after the May discovery, NASA confirmed Thursday it's a six meter long piece of debris and one of the largest pieces found intact of the space shuttle Challenger, the first to be found since parts of the left wing washed ashore in 1996. I mean, I was stunned. Um, just could not believe that you know, that there was a piece of Challenger still on the seabed. Wayne Abbott, among two Canadians on the team, filming a new series on the Bermuda Triangle and looking for a World War II era rescue plane. At one point, it almost looks like a tiled floor. But what those tiles are, are the actual heat shields on the bottom of the space shuttle. And liftoff. The Challenger exploded seconds after liftoff in January 1986, etched in the collective memory of many. The tragedy unfolded live in homes and classrooms across the U.S. and Canada, killing all seven crew members, including a teacher who was set to become the first civilian in space. The most important thing is that it keeps the story of Challenger alive. Mark, good luck. Thank you. It was aboard Challenger only two years prior where Marc Garneau became the first Canadian in space. There are certain signposts in history. You know, there's, you know, Pearl Harbor, the JFK assassination, 9-11. You remember what you were doing and where you were if you were around at that time. Same thing with the Challenger in 86. The debris remains on the ocean floor about 50 kilometers off the coast of Cape Canaveral, and NASA will determine the next steps. I really hope they do raise it and put it at the Kennedy Space Center. I mean, what a perfect place to display this piece of Challenger. A piece he hopes will uplift the legacies of those who died in a disaster that changed NASA forever. Neetu Garcha, Global News.